Picture this. You're walking through a crowded airport, vaccinated, confident, planning a trip you've dreamed about for months. Two weeks later, you've got a fever, a brutal rash, and the doctor says, it's measles. But I was vaccinated as a kid. That's what hundreds of people said in 2025, before landing in the hospital. Most people think measles is just a mild childhood illness or a relic of the past. But in 2025, over a thousand Americans have already been infected. And here's what will really make your jaw drop. Some of them had both vaccine doses. So why is this happening? Who's truly protected and who just thinks they are? In this video, we'll break down the real story behind the measles comeback, the surprising risk for adults, and what you can do, even if you were vaccinated decades ago. Stick around, because what you learn in the next few minutes could protect you, your family, and thousands of others. We tend to picture measles as a rash, a fever, maybe a few missed school days. But the truth? Measles is a beast. It's one of the most contagious viruses on Earth. One person can infect up to 18 others, more than COVID, flu, or even Ebola. It spreads through the air. You don't need to touch anyone. If someone with measles coughs in a room and leaves, that virus can still infect someone two hours later. Complications, pneumonia, brain swelling, blindness, permanent hearing loss, this isn't just a kid disease, it's a public health emergency when it spreads. This year, measles cases in the US have tripled. As of today, 1,024 confirmed cases. And here's the breakdown. Under five years, 303 cases, 30%. Five to 19 years, 388 cases, 38%. Adults over 20, 325 cases, 32%. Even more disturbing? The majority are unvaccinated, but not all. 2% of infected people had both MMR doses. That might sound small, but for a fully vaccinated group, that's not zero risk. Let's be clear. The MMR vaccine works. One dose, 93% effective. Two doses, 97% effective. But no vaccine is 100%. And for measles, even that 3% failure rate matters especially in airports, crowded schools, concerts, or international travel. Some people's immune systems never mount a full response. Others lose some immunity over decades. And then there are those who thought they had two doses, but never did. If you were born before 1989, when two-dose MMR became standard, you might have only gotten one. And in today's world, that may not be enough. Travel is one of the biggest ways measles spreads. Planes, airports, bus terminals, resorts. Perfect storm conditions for a virus that floats in the air. The CDC advises, get vaccinated at least two weeks before travel. Carry proof of MMR status and know which countries are high risk. Even if you're staying domestic, airports themselves are risk zones. One unvaccinated traveler equals dozens of potential cases. Take Jennifer, for example, a 38-year-old nurse from New Jersey. She had one MMR dose as a child and never thought much of it. But during a mission trip to Eastern Europe, she was unknowingly exposed to measles at a local clinic. By the time she returned home, she had a 103-degree fever and a spreading rash. She ended up isolated in a hospital ward for a disease she thought she was safe from. The worst part? She unknowingly exposed two elderly patients before symptoms appeared. It's not enough to say, I got my shots. Here's who counts as protected. Two documented MMR doses, or lab-confirmed immunity, or past lab-confirmed measles infection, or born before 1957, likely natural immunity. But if you were born after 1957 and you only had one shot, you might need another. This applies especially to international travelers, healthcare workers, college students or dorm residents, and anyone in outbreak zones. For high-risk adults, the CDC now recommends two MMR doses, 28 days apart. Antibodies start forming within days, but full immunity takes two to three weeks. That's why timing matters. If you're leaving for a trip in five days, it's too late for full protection. Book your shot early, especially before international travel. If you suspect measles, fever, rash, cough, runny nose, <coughs> red eyes, here's what to do. Stay home for at least four days after the rash appears. Avoid contact with anyone unvaccinated. Cough or sneeze into your elbow, not your hands. Disinfect doorknobs, phones, remotes. Don't share food, drinks, towels, or utensils. Call your doctor before visiting so they can prepare and protect others. Measles spreads before the rash appears and long after the fever fades. That makes early isolation absolutely critical. 
There's no single reason measles is back, but a few major culprits. Vaccine misinformation, pandemic-related disruptions to childhood vaccination schedules, increased international travel, and community vaccine coverage dropping just a few percentage points below safe levels. Here's a flash fact. When 95% or more of a community is vaccinated, outbreaks collapse, but drop to 88 to 90%, that's all measles needs to explode. Let's summarize what you now know. Measles isn't mild, it can be deadly. Some cases are vaccinated adults. Travel increases risk. Even in the US, one dose might not be enough if you're born after 1957. Protection takes two to three weeks, so plan ahead. And yes, you can still get sick even if you did everything right. We beat measles before. In fact, it was declared eliminated in the US back in 2000. But now, it's making a quiet comeback. One flight, one dorm room, one daycare at a time. You don't need to panic, but you do need to check your records. If you're unsure, talk to your doctor. If you're traveling, get your shot. And if this video made you think, like subscribe and share it with someone you care about. Because the only thing more contagious than measles is good information. Stay smart, stay safe, and double check that vaccine card.